Okay, so now that we've set our white shading for this lens, let's go back. Uh, we're still in the white balance section. We'll just go back one more page. And uh, we'll take a look at the color matrix. Now we have three, uh, three different uh, matrices here. The standard one, and now we have two for uh, cinema. We have vivid and uh, subdued. Um, I'm just going to put it on the vivid matrix here and now look at this look at all this adjustment that we've got in here uh, not only can we individually adjust um, the colors on their uh, individual axes but we also have this uh, yellow and green mask range which allows us to enhance the green without affecting uh, the skin tones so this is another cool uh, level of adjustment that JVC has added into the camera and I'm sure I'm going to have a a fun time making some new scene files in here. Uh, we have the digital noise reduction, color gain, which is just saturation, and of course the reverse picture option for uh, film lens adapters that uh, invert the image 180 degrees. Uh, the reset button would just reset everything. Time code, same as usual. Uh, we can preset the time code. We have all the time code controls that you would normally find uh, on any broadcast camera. And uh, we're going to LCD here, um, shooting assist, we have the same focus assist controls, you can set the colors, uh, I think everyone's familiar with this, but now zebra, we have two patterns for zebra, which is great, one goes from the lower left to the upper right, and the other goes from the upper left to the lower right, um, and the great thing is that we can set a zebra for uh, the top, and we can set a zone, so instead of the zebras just triggering at a level, and everything above that level, being triggered with zebra. Now we can set a very fine zone. So if we just wanted skin tone to be in the say 60 to 65 percent range, well we could just set that for the zebra. Or we could set the top zebra to uh, be over 100 percent, um, or in this case it's right now it's set for over 80 percent. Uh, we'll just set it for 100. So that'll say well anything that uh, is on zebra 2 will be blown out or the great thing is we can also go in and set a low zebra um, to indicate anything under say 5% IRE so any shadows that we're gonna lose detail in aspect ratios um, we still have the 235 to 1 center and common headroom we also have an 185 to 1 um, with a common headroom as well and we have uh, 166 which is equivalent to super 16 and we have uh, 175 in here which is uh, just a little bit different from 16 by 9 16 by 9 is actually 178 we have the aspect marker unfortunately we, you can't see this on the video output but this works just like the JVC monitors so instead of just having a line now we can actually have a half tone a semi-transparent half tone for the uh, the area that's still be rec being recorded into the file but uh, it's not part of our framing uh, safety zone this would just be your, uh, you could either set it for safe title, which would be 80%, or safe action, put a center mark on. Sorry, I'm going through this real quick, but there's uh, only a 10 minute limit on YouTube for each file. <laughs> Let's go into uh, status display now. Okay, so we've got uh, all the usual suspects here, um, F number plus the iris indicator, filter, it's just whether the ND filters are on, um, how strong they are. Our battery info, um, you always get voltage with any brand of battery, but if you want to use time and capacity, uh, you'll need one of the uh, Anton Bauer uh, Dionic batteries or the IDX Endura batteries. And um, shutter display, now this is a function I like uh, because I can put it in degrees instead of seconds, and this once again is just um, the way you would discuss shutter on a film camera, whether it, um, a normal shutter, which would be a half exposure, um, would be uh, 180 degrees, so that would equal 1 48th of a second uh, in 24p. So I would normally just keep it on 180. The thing is that the degrees only work in 24p, 25p, and 30p modes. Um, LCD plus viewfinder on at the same time. The viewfinder display, we can switch to black and white if we wanted. Uh, LCD mirror mode uh, just refers to when you flip the mirror front towards the lens go back out here and uh, AV out um, output terminal could be composite or component um, 
down convert is just the way we're going to down convert and the analog out character you'll notice we've got it on that's how I'm recording this output right now we can do the same with the SDI the others menu alarm level let's just turn that down because that can be annoying when an alarm comes on uh, tally system we can now um, use the tally lights to tell us what an external device is doing um, and the front tally uh, actually let's let's turn the front tally off I don't like my talent to know when the camera is actually rolling the back tally will just put to on so that the LED is just on solid um, 1394 record trigger this is for external firewire devices and this once again for the most part just works exactly the same way as it has on the previous models um, we can set it normally for synchronize um, so that every time we hit the record button on the camera we'll, it'll send a signal to the external devo device and tell it to also start recording um, auto power off, uh, date and time, time zone on the American cameras is set for minus five which is the East Coast uh, that's minus five hours from Greenwich Mean Time and, uh, and that's it for that menu media this is where we would format the card um, I have a fresh 16 gig card in there so uh, let's just format it and you can see it, it comes pre pre-formatted but uh, it's always better to format it in the camera and it doesn't take very long and that just literally erases everything the camera just names it untitled so the next time you put it into your computer you can um, rename it if you want now uh, file manage someone asked me about scene files well yes you can still save scene files but now you can uh, JVC has, has split them so a scene file refers to everything except what is in the camera process menu and a picture file is everything that's in the camera process menu so um, basically you could have a scene file set up that has all of your switches set and all of your user buttons set the way you want them and has the camera format and everything set the way you like it but anything to do with uh, color and your white shading for a particular lens you could save in a picture file now you can see here that there are four uh, internal slots on the camera um, for scene files and eight on the card and the same goes for picture files so you can have four picture files that you've created um, in the camera four scene files in the camera and eight of each picture and scene uh, on the card and of course you can use the keyboard here once again we've seen me using this um, and you can name them up to eight characters long